Welcome everybody to our Monday night broadcast. Tonight we'll be talking about adaptogens and long-term benefits that you can see from consistent usage. And as always, my um, goal and love is to empower people through education to help them take charge of their health. So I'm a master herbalist. Let's jump aboard and let's see where the journey takes us. Hello, everybody, and Val, thank you for having me. Um, I feel like this subject is near and dear to my heart because if I think about the hopeless person that I was when I found Soul um, seven, almost eight years ago, I it, it takes me back to a place of desperation that I know a lot of people feel. And I do not, the thought of ever going back there again scares me and to be honest I have my pattern always was to start feeling better and then to sink back into old habits or stop using what helped me even though nothing had really helped me this much so anytime that I've almost sunk back there um, I, I quickly start taking my soul again because for my family for me it's a game changer it's a life changer and if I'm going to be the kind of mother I've always wanted to be. I know I have to always consistently take my soul naturals. And if I think back to how the kind of mother I was when my kids were little, it breaks my heart. I wish I could rewind and have soul 15 years ago or 16 years ago because the depressed, hopeless, angry, frustrated mother that I was wasn't what I wanted my kids to grow up feeling. And I feel like soul changed that because of how I felt. And it changed their lives too. So I will never just like, I'm not gonna stop eating good food. I am not gonna stop taking my adaptogens with soul. I just cannot do it. And fast forward to now, I feel like I have to stay healthy and I have to stay that person because I wanna help people. So just this week, there is this sweet, precious mom that is in such a dark place that we've started on a couple of things and now she's started using a couple more things and she sent me a testimony this week that said this is a 30 year problem I have been looking for an answer to. And she's been taking Vital and Cinemate for one week and she said, I already feel so much better. I have gone to doctor after doctor. So just from that standpoint of helping other hopeless people, I could never stop. Helping my family, I cannot stop. Um, making sure that I am the best person I can be in crazy, crazy times, the least I can do is feed myself when soul has laid it out there for me. So I'm super grateful and the one thing I will say is um, be consistent because for me, that is the only way it works for me. So, and for, for my clients too, right? Uh, I usually ask them, have you been taking your soul? Well, no, you know, I'm not very consistent. Well, there you go. Anyway, I love you all. I love soul. And um, as many people as I can help to feel better, uh, that's what I want to do. So, you know, I'm never going to stop soul. It's in my go bag right now. Bye, y'all. I love this story and this testimony because so often with soul, we do see the quick results and we, a couple things can happen. Number one, we can forget where we were and we don't realize the um, importance of taking it consistently until we stop, which is a great uh, way to affirm that it, we need to keep taking it. And often too, uh, people don't realize that the consistent use will change your the, the entirety of your life for the better. And that's what we want to look like. This whole, we're looking at this entire uh, episode here. We're looking at um, what long-term use and consistency does. So we want to talk about the word adaptation, which obviously adaptogen is similar to. So there's two different types of adaptation. There's functional adaptation, which is going to be the organism itself and it being able to survive. But then we have reproductive adaptation, which has to do with your species survival. So both of these, if you think about this, um, we're, we think about this when we're realizing all the different properties and the different things that adaptogens can do. So 
when we look at plants, it's very easy to see their survival strategy. In animals or human beings and in, in, in that um, kingdom, it's a longer process. So looking at a plant, or in this instance, like a tree, we've got the different seasons there. So we've talked about chlorophyll, which is when it's in the, you know, we've got all the green leaves. So that has to do with the energy and the lifeblood and, and it's collecting all this by this interaction with the chemical process and interaction with the sun. But then when we shift to fall, that green disappears, we get these beautiful reds, purples, orange, yellows, which actually is indicating that our carotenoids, our anthocyanins are, um, are going up in the, in the tree and that they're being produced by the tree as an adaptive uh, measure so that the tree can continue its life cycle. So not only is it changing as pretty, but it is also bumping the nutritive value, which then gets shoved down into the roots to the roots and it helps to store all this in the roots, helps to save the life force energy, keep it protected, it goes down into the roots and it is protected throughout the winter and then the cycle passes again. So think about all the different ways that adaptation is happening or survival. So now we're going to look at this as adaptogens and what the plants the, the themselves can do in the adaptogen category. And all my data for this actual webinar did come from the uh, my absolute favorite go-to book, the Adaptogens in Medical Herbalism class or class book. It's a huge book. I keep it sitting here. It's about 700 pages. It is phenomenal. So we talked about adaptation. Well, consider what we just talked about. Adaptogens are named adaptogens originally because of their unique ability to help organisms readily adapt to the changing connection conditions of life. Makes sense. Let's put it into um, play for this year. For, for our person, my personal experience, we get up, I've, you know, May or January is jumping, moving forwards. By January 20th, we've got, you know, this life challenging situation dealing with Troy and then come out, start to come out of that as COVID steps in, then I shift my business. And in the middle of that, we had another grandbaby born. I mean, all this stuff, I I really believe that Troy and I were able to navigate this as effectively as we did and successfully because of our continued use of taking in taking adaptogens. So again, helping us to readily adapt to the changing conditions. Now this is a neat um, term that a lot of people may not realize or be aware of called polyadaptogenic therapy. Otherwise, Adaptogens enhance the lifespan of all members of the populations. So, so that not only those who are naturally weak and might be prone to uh, passing over earlier, it also supports the strong and those people that already have longevity in their genes. And that's something that uh, a lot of you've probably heard me say. My grandmother lived to be 101 and was still delivering meals on wheels at the age of 99. I tell people that that longevity is there. I want to have quality of life with it. Adaptogens are a perfect fit for me to have that in my life. When you combine that multiple adaptogens, adaptogens, then you will get increased benefits because of the uh, synergistic uh, capacity in which the herbs and their companion nutrients work. It is just it becomes one plus one plus one, it no longer equals three. It might equals 10, 12, 15. It's just amazing the difference. That's what synergistically means. It means the sum is bigger, th or the whole is bigger than the individual parts. Also, adaptogens as a category eliminate or markedly decrease the classic signs of severe or prolonged stress. This has been a year of prolonged stress. We've had different incidents. You guys know my past history with bringing myself back from adrenal fatigue. There is no doubt in my mind that without the adaptogens, and without having already had soul in my body every single day for since the day it came out on the market, uh, which was May 2013, I believe, the end of May, June 1st, right in there, in June, um, it kept me from crashing and having adrenal uh, exhaustion. Again, adaptogens on a daily basis. And finally, there are the four R's of adaptogens. Recognition, as in the body, or, or the being able to recognize what it needs to get done. So adaptogen is supporting it. It's recognizing, say, here comes a stressor. 
It's supporting the body's ability to, to respond to it and how it maybe doesn't go into overwhelm. It just is able to focus and drive on. And then uh, recovery, so bouncing back from it. And then finally, restoration or regeneration, how it um, moves forward so that it is just, as I say, it's just a blip on your timeline and it no longer, the incident no longer defines who you are. It's just something that happened. So adaptogens help the body to do all of that. Those are the four things that they do. So listen to hear what Michelle has to say. I wanted to speak real briefly on the consistent use of herbs, specifically adaptogenic herbs. I've been using adaptogenic herbs for years now, all kinds of herbs really for decades, but specifically adaptogenic herbs, specifically the ones found in Soul Naturals for seven or eight years at least. And the, if, you're, if you take a lot of vitamins, if you use herbs and you use those to support your body, support your mind, support um, just your overall health, then you reevaluate as the years go by because as we age, we need different things at different times. And so I'm always reevaluating what does my body need right now? And one thing that has always stayed consistent is using adaptogen, adaptogenic herbs from Soul Naturals. And there's a couple reasons why I keep going back to it. Even though I, I'm always reevaluating what I need, I always keep coming back to it. And the reason why is because those adaptogens have helped me over those almost 10 years now, we're gonna come up on 10 years here in a couple years, to just continue to face the things that we all face daily. We all face things either emotionally or physically as we age. And those adaptogens have proven time and time and time again to help me to manage whatever um, impact they have on me emotionally or physically. So that's one reason that I just keep coming back to them. And especially with 2020 and just the challenges that we've all faced this year, I've really relied on those herbs that help me emotionally. So and prior to that, I was not needing them as much. But here now is the circumstances that are beyond all of our control. We might need a little bit of extra help there. As we get older, we have maybe more inflammation in our body. Um, and so really relying on herbs that help me with inflammation it just is helping me age better. And speaking of aging, I have learned recently with, um, there are quite a few adaptogenic herbs that are specifically known for their longevity properties. So longevity, thinking about as we age, they really help with oxidative stress in the body. Um, I recently learned that the reishi mushroom is known as the mushroom of immortality. So I make sure that that is something that I have on a daily basis. Even if I don't always notice, um, you know, I don't always rely on just how I feel, although that's very important. But if I know that a certain mushroom or a certain adaptogen or an herb is specifically known for something, it's been studied, it's been researched for that, I want to take it because I know, I might not know whether a, 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 an herb is helping me with oxidative stress. I might not be able to feel that, but I'm going to use it anyway trusting that plants heal us. Plants help us so much um, because I've felt that in more immediate ways um, in the past. And so I'm going to trust now that the herbs that I'm taking are really going to help my body continue to just go through the stages it goes through as we get older, to face the trials and the circumstances that we all face as life as we live. And so I really have been helped so much to be as healthy as I think I can possibly be um, taking, using adaptogens as part of my vitamin and herbal regimen. So hope this was helpful to you. And I encourage you to make it a daily part of your health also. So Michelle just nails it there. And of course, while she's talking, I'm doing the math. I'm like eight and a half years, actually, I've been doing the soul products. And there are so many beautiful adaptogens. You could just rattle them off that we are using with all of our products. And we get all these beautiful benefits from them. So there's some neat studies that uh, the Soviet Union, back when it was still all uh, conjoined there, that they did on a Luthro. A Luthro study results from 58 to 65 that are actually worth looking at. So in this first study, the uh, Olympic teams and other sports teams 
uh, were using the adaptogens during challenging training competitions. And the result was they saw improved stamina, recovery, increased oxygen intake, better performance. So an athlete we know is constantly pushing um, maybe uh, the different ways that they're training and are going to, this is a long-term serious athlete, athlete. So this is a great reference for the long-term use of adaptogens. They also did a study with a thousand mining workers in Siberia and the incidence of influenza during, the, during that epidemic, they saw it drop by two thirds, guys. That's a lot. And that's one thing I've said throughout all of 2020. If there's one thing that people do not want to do during 2020, that is stop taking adaptogens. That'd be the poorest choice in my opinion they could do. Another study, they looked at 1,200 long distance truck drivers. What they saw was increased productivity, reduced incidence of the flu during the epidemic by 30%. So another, a different type of work sitting, you know, which is, you know, it's not physical like the miners, and yet they still saw a dramatic uh, reduction in their uh, people that were being in fact having issues during the epidemic. And then the rest we looked at, they had 14,000 uh, workers in an auto factory. We also saw a 30% decrease in total reported symptoms and in those 40% drop of symptoms in high blood pressure and heart disease. So any type of symptoms that they were dealing with, they just saw a 30% decrease. And then finally, we, they had 107 patients receiving anti-cancer drugs for gastric cancer. Look at this result, 50% less damage to their immunity and 50% decrease in the drug dosage that was required. Guys, this is huge and so amazing. And so if we think about taking these adaptogens on a daily basis, as opposed to the term that they did in these studies, why can we not expect to have better and better results? You guys have seen me reference the disease trees, tree over and over again. So how do adaptogens play into this? Because we're looking at them in general. We're not looking at just Eleuthero or Raponticum or Ashwagandha or Astragalus or any of these, but all of them come in and help the body to remember, adapt to the change that the body in the organism is dealing with. So adapt to the change of mental and emotional stress. In fact, let's look just at the bottom and think about this for this year. There's been huge amounts of mental and emotional stress because of the change in our everyday life change in social connection, change in business, change in how people do work, interact, huge. Adaptogens go straight to that target to help deal with that. Nutritional deficiencies, because we were lowering the incidence or impact that stress is having on the body, it allows our body to not be compromised as much, and for instance, in our digestion, so that we can continue to get the full benefit out of the foods that we're eating. Physical trauma is challenging anyway. But when we have it in this type of a situation, for instance, Troy, with everything going on this year for him to come out of this and be doing his recovery during all of what's happened in 2020, again, in him to be light years ahead of where they said he would ever be, this is amazing. Adaptogens definitely playing into it. And then toxic overload. You can look at it from multiple different aspects. We'll again use Troy in this situation because of that hospital stay in the massive amounts of meds that they did throw at him, I was able to help his system adapt and deal with this and come out of it strong, regardless of the amount of the medications that they put in him. So again, adaptogens are that key to coming into those roots and helping to keep the healthy um, expression of the body going on. So let's listen to uh, Allison. She's got some neat little words to share. Hey y'all, Allison here. I am so excited to talk to you guys about my feelings on the constant use of adaptogenic herbs. Um, first and foremost, I health-wise, I've always been a pretty healthy individual. I was an athlete all through school, through college, and afterward I got into a lot of yoga and other athletic things. So in terms of my physical health, I really haven't truly struggled a lot with many intense things, if we will. Um, however, I have the typical aches and pains, of course, from being an athlete. I have a lot of, um, uh, I'm in my 30s, so coming up with a lot of um, 
like past childhood traumas and things on, you know, basic things that come up that you start to question how they're, how they're manifesting, you know, and, and what's showing up in your life. So my experience with the herbs are definitely much more based on how they've affected me spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And as a result, physically, of course. Um, but I can tell you right now, adaptogenic herbs have given me so much life back so much faith in my own systems healing so much belief that i can do so much more for myself that i don't always have to ask a doctor or a professional herbalist or naturopath i that i do have the intuition within me to be able to recognize how to heal myself and i believe it now and it's because through practice trial and error with the herbs i have found what what helps me and also the beauty of recognizing how that shifts and changes ebbs and flows there are some times when vertizymes are the thing that i live and die for and i need two bottles in every compartment of every space i have just to make sure that i you know have that support and there are other times when i need much less of that and much more of you know some soul complete or just some you know contentment roll on but i'm telling you right now had it not been for the education through soul with Val and Greg and the whole team and all of you uh, and just practicing, just trusting, like they said, just try it out. The worst case scenario, you try something that, for example, Excel, if I take even a quarter of a packet of that stuff, I have so much energy or power chi. If I take some, I have so much energy, I'm miserable because I already have high energy. And so it's, you know, experimenting. But the good news is it wears off in a little while and you just keep practicing. So if I could ever encourage anyone to to stick with the herbal remedies, which I do encourage everyone around me to do, is that it does it might take some time with certain things, but they're going to support you in every area of your life. Valerie always says that. And it's the truest thing, I think, of all the spiritual, mental, emotional things are hard to see. And so we don't think about them. We don't see them existing. We want instant gratification. And the herbs have helped me to find that intuition in my gut to believe that it doesn't have to be instant gratification, but that if I listen to myself and I sit in that peace and calm, then I'm gonna find what I need. And for that, I will be eternally grateful. So thanks y'all, enjoy your night. Allison does a great job. And, and I love too, because no matter what our age, we can benefit. Here she is in her mid thirties and all the different things that have happened from her, from all the athletic sports and everything. She is still dealing with it, but not at, like she would be if she was not doing the consistent use with the adaptogenic mm -hmm. herbs. So now what we're going to do is Greg is going to share a little bit here about um, how Soul has uh, pioneered the way with the adaptogenic uh, products. So, uh, Greg. Thank you, Valerie. Away. Thank you so much. And such amazing teaching. Every single presentation today, I've just been, I've, I've literally been enthralled here. Um, so I forgot to ask you, Valerie, could you make me a co-host so I can share a couple slides? Because <laughs> I was so thrilled. Yes, I, I can do that. Oh man, I've loved listening to each and every, I, I learned so much from each and every one of those today. I want you each to know you, there, there are a couple things in every one that I'm trying to make mental notes to, to for me it's to share it with, with other people because um, you're such great examples. <clears throat> well, I, I, I don't need slides to share this, but when Valerie texted me about the topic she wanted me to address. I hope it's okay if I share with you something from, and I got to move this to the right slide here, okay? It, th from the first formula created by Soul, because it can help answer how Soul pioneered and why we did. I, I mean, Valerie really asked me about how, not so much about why. It's hard for me to explain how. So did it without telling you why we did it. <clears throat> that's just that's just on me. So I will tell you, like Valerie, I was blessed for a lot of years to do well enough with a huge number of herbs. And I learned like Michelle, how much good these, these plants could be in our body. And the reason that we described that we decided to found soul, most of you, if not all of you listening to this, know the, the stories, the history of 
what led to us founding Soul, my wife's story, our own experiences using adaptogenic herbs that we did not yet know by that name and seeing changes in us that we could not see after 20 years of using a lot of really high quality products. So that, that was a little bit of the pre-story to Soul and, and the reasons that got us to look deeper. And I'm so grateful we did, but I, I have to say the only reason we did is because of Valerie and people like Valerie in our lives helping us and showing us how we could work with herbs of all kinds to help us and really being there through the toughest times as well. So in a sense, you could say we stumbled upon adaptogens as part of our own journey. And that stumbling led to a very deep investigation and it, really a complete, almost two full years of deep investigation and dive into <clears throat> not just adaptogenic herbs and why they are what they are, but their sources and, and how they were available and if we could find them and we couldn't find anywhere where they were readily available other than scattered and mixed in all sorts of types and styles and forms in a lot of other products. And, and <clears throat> so those, you can kind of see where our minds started to go. Uh, I, I say our because Dr. Allison was part of this before the company launched. Valerie was aware of it before we launched and, and was part of these discussions and, and other people were as well. And to be honest with you, I want you to know that a lot of that happened in the way so many good things happen, just by a natural coalescence, if I could say it that way, of good people like Tammy who just want to help other people feel better. Um, I, I love that, Tammy. <clears throat> and a lot of people like that crossed paths with us in a way that I know I don't believe was coincidence. And um, of course, I didn't believe it then, and, I, and even now I know it even more surely that those are all things that were going to help a lot of people, um, starting with ourselves. And it always includes ourselves as we help others. It has to, or we can't help others. Um, I just love listening to Valerie every week because she does what she preaches. She always has. And that's why it's so easy to learn from you, Val. So when we started studying this more, this is from Dr. Allison. This was her first presentation about that first formula. I know you've seen the slides before, but um, as we studied them and, and how we would combine them, these are all things we looked at. And this is a great summary. We, we didn't look at it exactly this way, but this does describe what we looked at. You've got these stages of stress in our life, that, that whole reaction. And then I think the most important one, number two, that adaptive resistance. How does our body perform? And body, we need to add body and mind. You know, that's part of the body. And of course, that was what she talked about and taught here, even though on, on our slide, it just says body. But how does the body and mind, how does the body and the mind and the heart, how do they perform? Like the spiritual side, how do we perform with all that stress? Now, the, the third stage of stress, maybe that's the one where we have the biggest impact. But I was thinking before this tonight, where does soul and the constant use of soul herbs, is, which has been taught to us today, have the greatest effect? Well, I think in number two, but it's hard to say, isn't it? Because Valerie taught us, and it's true, number one changes dramatically. The way we react changes hugely with adaptogenic herbs. But I think that number two is, is what we focus on um, because that's, it involves everything. And, and number three changes dramatically too because we don't. <laughs> we don't get exhaustion. We don't reach it. But, but we looked at how the herbs help. I love this chart. I love because it's, here's us. If the line across the middle is our normal, strength, our constitution, as Valerie teaches in the roots. Um, stresses push us beneath where we need to be. And then the body has its ways of responding and lifting us above, but how long can we hold it? Eventually, with the stresses being what they are, we, we just burn out. And soul is about that adaptation line that you see there. We want to make that line higher and stronger. Or maybe another way of looking at it is we want to raise the normal level of resistance line up higher. Either way that you want to you want to look at because I don't 
I don't think as long as we live, we're always going to have a reaction to stresses. But instead of, I don't know if you can see my little arrow on my screen, instead of dipping so low and going so high, maybe we just dip slightly below. Now, okay, we, something, something tough's here. It dips us a little below, and then we move a little above. And, and the wild fluctuations are much more manageable. That's how I interpret what Valerie talked about herself and her family this year. And I could echo those, those feelings. So this had a great impact and is part of the answer of how souls pioneer because we're working to improve the reaction with our products to stress to improve our body's level of natural level of resistance and to avoid that drop off at the end and we believe that that process is involved in all healing that our body has daily processes and probably weekly and monthly and and periodically valerie probably can list all of those in their lengths like how often do cells replicate themselves or they're all different lengths but those natural processes for repair and rejuvenation and restoration they're, they're already there we want to work with them in soul that's one of the defining differences in how we hope to pioneer is to not address symptoms and to not force the body a certain way but to actually give the body and let the bot and work with it um i also the other reason another why is because stress works with all the very key and core systems of the body what i mean by it, it it affects it in a great way and so anything to do with nerves and glands they they seem to be involved in everything and in the immune system i mean whenever it overcomes us because i've been there you know where you get laid up your list of things you can do physically and emotionally and cognitively goes way down when we're really sick it just does um, so stress is a huge part of that. And the way the body communicates, that third one, the connections through the HPA access, I can't, I can't explain that like Val and, and many of you can. But I can explain this, that those, the communication and the responsiveness improves a lot through adaptogenic herbs, the way the body works. Why, why else do we choose to pioneer? Because they're non-toxic. And that one cannot be overstated because it lets us help children. It lets us help, help the elderly. It help, lets us help ourselves when we're really down and out and also ourselves when we're really strong because they're non-toxic. I can not be afraid of them. I can use the quantities needed. And um, I, I mean, I just, I loved, I can't remember. I think it was our third, the third story tonight, learning how that changes. Well, Michelle mentioned it too, but over time mentioned knowing how our body talks to us and when we need more and when we need less. I love this other second point of adaptogens. It's a non-specific response to stress, which means it works with the core strength of the body or that core level of resistance or the constitution. There's a few ors there and they all fit perfectly because adaptogens, that's why they make change where maybe other things don't. And I love this number three. It's a normalizing influence. So we don't have to be perfectly knowledgeable about, is this an overactive situation or an underactive, you know, on every situation. And I have to know, am I supposed to push it this way or push it that way? Well, adaptogens, by definition, have components on either side of imbalance. And that's, the, and that's this is what we, we saw too. I love reading this, this quote real quickly. I, I love that it says a new class of herbs because the herbs aren't new at all. But it is a new understanding for us, I think, for so many of us. What are adaptogens? A new class of herbs that are metabolic regulators, which increase the ability of an organism to adapt to environmental factors and avoid damage from those factors. It doesn't, it doesn't take them away. That's, it's been said, but, but we're able to adapt. And, and some more evidence is to add to the wonderful stuff Val shared. They started clinical trials. These, these were right before the founding of our company, right not before, actually at the same time we were doing all the research and investigation, some of these clinical trials were happening. But Valerie mentioned this, the ab ability to increase mental work capacity. Even when you're already stressed and tired, even when you're feeling a little exhaustion, we can tolerate it. We have enhanced attention, which means we can get out of, we can get through it and we can get stronger. And over time we get stronger and, and they generally aren't as hard. And then, and then look at that second group. They're nervous system protective, mind protecting. 
I think emotion protecting, keeping these the, this the severe effects of severe like uh, anxiety and trauma because those do have a more lasting impact on a lot of things and it take a while to work through. Um, maybe all of us have have gone through that or will go through that to a degree, and that's okay because these these adaptogens also are nootropic. They enhance memory, learning, and cognition, which to me, when I read that and heard that and was taught that, when we found in soul, my, my hope was not just in um, strengthening us toward the future, but that when we deal with situations and our body repairs, it does create new neural pathways as well. So that if these are helping us get better from now in the future, they also help us build the healthier pathways. And that's a belief that I have because those pathways happen through our habits. And back to all of you and the testimonials today, they happen when it happens daily, when the, the habit is a daily one, then the nutrition's there. Then all those elements, that raw material is there to make the change more lasting. And then, and that's where I'll stop today because then we get into we started with six of the greatest in terms, I'll call them the greatest, <clears throat> not because they're better than the others, but because they are more understood and more studied. And, and so just more known, we wanted to start with those, these first six, where we knew we had a, a really synergistic and balanced group that we could form as a core that would be part of Soul Vital, that would be part of, in the capsule, Adaptable. And so I think what, what led to all of its soul was just the blessing of being led to those by different people, experiencing, experiencing what we experienced, the changes. I kind of call them the silent changer. Instead of doing it in, the, in this loud forcing way like a drug does, or even a lot of herbs that try to push a harsher herb that try to push a, a result, these adaptogens get in there silently, silent because they work with us. And that lets them, lets the body build over time. I, I believe that today, when I look at that presentation I pulled up was eight years ago. <clears throat> you probably remember it, Val. I haven't changed a, a bit, any of the slides. But I see it differently now because I've learned through these eight years from each of you and from ourselves as we've used them. I've learned it's, it's been enriched and enhanced the whole understanding of how they work. I definitely see a lot more than I used to and I anticipate in the next eight, 10 years, we're gonna, all of us are gonna have enough. We'll be meeting and we'll go, man, remember that last one that was so good? And here's what we've learned from now until this point. So um, thanks for letting me share that. Again, hope it wasn't too long. It was a little too long, but, um, I, <laughs> but I, the passion is even deeper, really thanks to what we've learned um, living this together with each of you and sharing with other people what we're learning. That was great, Greg. And you know, one of the things that I absolutely love with the adaptogens, and it's so easy to see why it is so beneficial to have an adaptogen in all these formulas, because it helps the body to navigate a uh, what is often a stressful situation um, that the person starts taking the plants to begin with. And it, it really does help set the body up to receive and utilize the nutrients and build and uh, restore. It becomes a no-brainer. All right. We have a little bit to hear from Natalie here. I hope I didn't. I don't think I skipped. Yep, we're good here. Hello. My name is Natalie O'Brien, and I wanted to share my journey with adaptogenic herbs and why I started using them. So about eight years ago is when I was introduced to the word adaptogens. I did not even know what that word meant, but I was a young mom of four children and I was chronically sick with sinusitis, uh, sinus infections, uh, horrible allergies, and I had a lot of inflammation in my sinuses, which would lead to um, the sinusitis and you know all the things that comes with that. So I was on like year round Zyrtec and um, nasal sprays and ended up, would end up on antibiotics for the infections. And I was, I felt miserable. 
I was so tired and I also had a lot of chronic pain because I had a shoulder surgery. Um, I had arthritis in my spine, degenerative disc disease, and some herniated discs that eventually led to a spinal fusion. So I was in a lot of physical pain, had a lot of physical inflammation, and also um, just stressed out and anxious trying to just have enough energy to be a new mom. So um, I was taking a lot of herbs. I was taking a lot of different herbs and paying an herbalist to, to tell me what I needed. And then she would say, a few weeks later, she'd say, well, your body has adapted and now you need something different. So I was frustrated. I was spending a lot of money. And that's when I found out about adaptogens and a very simple formula of just four different products. Uh, in the beginning, it was just four different products, the Vital, uh, Cinemate, Adaptable, and Soulflex PI. Those four products really changed my life. In one month, people were telling me that they noticed a huge difference in me. I felt it in myself, but sometimes we just we're, we're kind of like holding our breath, waiting for that other shoe to drop. Like, is this real? Do I really feel better? Um, and I am just so happy to say that that was almost eight years ago. And even though in the past two years, uh, I have had a back, some pretty major back surgery, and I've had some serious trauma in my personal life with my own children and my family, I have continued to stay on that simple program and have been able to avoid um, pain medication and anxiety medication and have been able to keep fighting for my own wellness and for my family using these same adaptogenic herbs. So I am cannot say enough good about the, the benefits that adaptogens can have on your mind and body and would just urge you to give them a try and stick with it. Even though you may have ups and downs, stick with your program because they will change your life. <laughs> so what I love is with all these different stories, we've gotten so many different, um, well, four different aspects of how it can benefit you to use the adaptogens over long term. So my question for you is, how do you approach your health? Do you do it in the 911 version or are you being prepared? No, we cannot see down the road what's coming towards us, but how can we be prepared? We can be taking adaptogens daily to help the body better to respond, help it be more resilient. 911 comes out of the blue. And if we're not prepared, then 911 can be a whole lot more devastating. I guarantee you, we would have a different ending to our not personal 911 story that happened January 20th had we not been prepared. The Bella Health Package, every one of these products, just like all the Soul products, is loaded with adaptogens and good high quality and unique uh, extracts and, and adaptogens. These are the basic uh, protocol that Troy and I started with, along with the adaptable. This, for Troy, myself, these four, this is what I have consistently taken, and so has Troy, every single day. We have never not taken these. So we have, uh, our personal family has seen the results of the consistent use of these on a daily basis. And then let me tell you, I do not ever see a point in my future where I will not be taking these because they are that big of a game changer. I'll tell you, this tree looks like a typical tree in Kansas. And I just loved how, I just thought this was perfect. Um, and it's a Bruce Lee quote. It says, noticed the stiffest tree is the most easily cracked while the bamboo or willow survives by bending with the wind. What are we talking about? We're talking about being adaptogenic, using the adapt, having the adaptogenic properties of the plants that help us to be more resilient, our body to fluctuate, work with what's thrown at it, but not to break. Adaptogens for the win, guys. Next week, we'll be talking about the soul signature drinks, the four drinks, and hopefully you will join us because um, every Monday, 6.30 Central Time, we are talking and learning more about adaptogens.